Today's Go Deeper devotional focuses on the significance of baptism. On Sunday, when we had our Easter service, we also included baptisms, and we celebrated. We got to celebrate six people, six souls being baptized in the Lord, confessing their faith, uh, one of which was my son, so it's very exciting for me. Uh, so, But because we had baptism, I want to talk about the significance of what baptism is uh, without going into the full symbolism, the full depth of it, although it's one of my favorite topics. Uh, to start, I want to remind you that Christ did not wait for the law to be fulfilled before he died on the cross. No, he died and rose again, which then fulfilled the law to bring us under grace. His death was a milestone of our spiritual imperfection in contrast to his perfect love. Baptism recognizes our imperfection. It recognizes our sin and how we are divided from God and that we are in need of his perfecting grace. We are in need of his, his life, his death, his blood, his resurrection in the empty tomb. Baptism, therefore, is an act of obedience with, with deep implications and deep symbolism as we also publicly declare our faith. It signifies our response to a very real need for Jesus' covering and marks the beginning of a life dedicated to God. It is not the, the end, the, the comeuppance, the, the penultimate of our faith. It is the beginning of our life lived with God following Jesus Christ. Now, through baptism, we are united with Jesus in his death and resurrection symbolizing our rebirth into new life with him. This sacred act, the sacred act of baptism, is taken in faith because of faith. It embraces the transformative power of Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on the cross, and it calls others to do the same. Scripture I want to read for you is Romans chapter 6, verse 4. It's one of the most common ones in Relating to baptism, uh, if you want to, to look at some others, consider, consider Acts 2.38, Colossians 2.12. Um, you can read uh, 1 Peter 3.21, I believe. Um, different scriptures that relate to the different symbolism of baptism. This one is related to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection. Others relate to the, um, to the covenant and to the redemption of baptism. However, Romans 6.4. Therefore, we were buried with him by baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too may walk in newness of life. So, reflection. I want to ask, have you been baptized by Christ and in Christ? If so, then I want to encourage you to reflect on when you were baptized and why you were baptized. Do you remember the gospel of Jesus Christ and his call to repentance and restoration? The desire and the longing you had at that time to follow Jesus. How does that, that calling, how does it shape your daily walk with Christ now? Have you forgotten that calling? Do you need to be restored because there is restoration for you by the grace and the glory of Jesus Christ. Now, if you haven't been baptized, but you do believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that he died for your sins, that your sins put him on the cross, and you believe that he rose from the tomb, grabbing hold of eternal life and conquering death for you, if you believe that, but you've not been baptized, I want to ask you why. Why have you not stepped into the obedience of Jesus Christ? If you believe that he is the son of God and you know that Jesus, the son of God says, do this because of salvation. Why not? Why haven't you? What's holding you back? Um, there's no judgment from there on my part. I'm just asking you to, to genuinely and earnestly consider that. What's holding you back? What's holding you back? Jesus Christ has clean, pure water waiting for you. He loves you. He cares for you as he cares for all of us.